up you guys I am back again for another video so today I was just trying to plan like my videos for March St. Patty's Day is coming up I thought that I would see if I could make some kind of videos surrounding Ireland or St. Patrick's Day or you know creepy urban legends or stories or anything like that for St. Patty's Day, let me know in the comment section below what you guys want to see from me for this month regarding St. Patrick's Day, anything Irish, whatever you guys want. I thought that to sum a few things up today, I would do the top five creepiest urban legends, Irish urban legends. And I know there's a lot more than five, but these are my personal favorites. If you guys want me to make a full video on a specific one, please let me know in the comment section below if you guys want me to just do a full video, more research, more detail on a specific legend or monster or ghost or whatever it is. Let me know and I will definitely do that for you guys. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Number one is the most scariest Irish legend that I have come across this far. I was doing all my research today and this is the one that like really like spoke to me the most and I actually really enjoyed reading it and like kind of finding things out about it. But I'm just gonna sum up each and every one of them for you. So the first one is the Banshee. And I don't know if you guys have heard about that before, obviously my Irish subs probably do, but I have heard that word before, like somebody saying screaming like a banshee or something like that, like that kind of slogan, and I never really understood what a banshee actually was. I kind of just assumed that it was like an animal or something, I didn't know. I found out today that the banshee is actually a terrible bad omen it's somewhat of a ghost apparition of a woman who wails and screams and cries in the in the silence of the night and they say that if you hear her scream three times death is coming for you and your family or somebody in your family or something like that so that's terrifying. She is said to either be an ugly hag or a beautiful young woman. Either way, her eyes are piercing red from constantly crying and she has long, long hair and she's said to be wearing a gray cloak with an emerald dress underneath. And honestly, that is so morbid. That is so terrifying, but Super interesting. I really enjoyed learning about that. Number two is changelings. So changelings are mythical fairy creatures that take the place of a newborn human child that has been stolen from the fairies. And yes, in folklore, Irish folklore, fairies are not the nice, sweet Disney fairies that we all know and love. They steal the children, like the newborn child, to act as a servant for them. The Irish would put their babies over a fire pot to see if it was a changeling or not. And if it was a changeling, it is said that the changeling will crawl out of the pot and up the chimney and replace the child. That's terrifying. Please don't put your baby in a pot above fire. Just a little PSA. It is said that the fairies prefer to steal newborn baby boys, so the Irishmen often would dress their newborn baby boys in dresses to confuse the fairies. <laughs> the next one is actually giving the banshee up for its money because this is terrifying. This one is called the fetch. I have never heard of anything like this before, but there's a lot of details and descriptions about it online. It is kind of hard to explain, but I'm gonna do my best. So the fetch is kind of like a ghost, ghostly, apparition of a doppelganger and if you guys don't know what a doppelganger is it is a person that looks almost absolutely identical to you or somebody else 
So it's said that if you see the fetch, it's like mostly it'll be you're the only one who can see it and it's always in a dark, creepy hallway or room and if you follow it, it'll disappear into nothingness but it's said that if you see it, it's a bad omen of like a death is probably coming your way and you're probably gonna die if you see this doppelganger fetch thing. Sometimes it can appear with the way that you are going to die if that's like some kind of tragic way like a bullet hole to show you how you're gonna die and it's also said that if you see a fetch version of somebody else that you know who is still living then the same goes for them they're probably gonna die too. <laughs> none of these are happy, none of them, but yeah, I think that's super creepy because it's a doppelganger version of like your like ghost as a bad omen. Imagine like walking into a dark room and seeing yourself and it's just like staring at you. It's just like looking into your reflection in the mirror. Terrifying. Number four isn't really an urban legend because it is a place, but I guess the legend is what occurs at this place. So, at St. Missions, I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm so sorry, <laughs> but it's a church that's 330 years old. It is built upon an even older burial ground. And this is true, you guys, there's pictures. There are really eerily well-preserved mummies, lots of them. There's catacombs and tombs and graves and so many and some of them are spilling out of them and you can clearly see them. It's very, very, very morbid but the legend is that these visitors will go and they'll go to the church or they'll go to the underground and they say that they hear whispering. Whispering between the dead. I guess, in that basement. They say that they can feel phantom hands touching their necks. They say they feel really crowded and overwhelmed and anxious in those areas, just like as if you were in a room full of people even though there's nobody. That's how they feel, so I guess the legend just goes that the mummies are whispering to each other and, you know, doing mummy things. The last one is UFO Hotspot Ireland. Damn, I did not know this about Ireland, but apparently it is the place for alien activity of all sorts. Emerald Isle is said to be an attractive place for aliens. According to Carl Nally, a UFO expert and founder of UFO and Paranormal Research, Ireland, the country is a hot spot for alien activity. Irish pilots are in constant danger of colliding with alien aircrafts flying in the sky. And he's met many pilots who have almost crashed with a strange cloud that has solid objects hiding inside of them. Upon my research, it actually, like I actually came across a lot of reports on UFO sightings and alien activity and stuff like that. So if you want me to dive deeper into the alien UFO sighting realm in Ireland, let me know. If you guys want me to dive deeper into any of these, whether that's just more details and information on what these monsters and urban legends are, or if you want me to read some people's stories online of experiencing these things. Anyways, you guys, please let me know what you think of this video and let me know what you guys want to see for the next couple weeks before St. Patty's Day or just for the month of March in general. Um, I love you guys so much. Please give this video a like and hit that subscribe button because I do make videos every week. Please hit the notification bell if you're not seeing my videos because YouTube can be kind of shady. <laughs> so yeah, hit that notification bell and I will see you in my next video. I love you guys so much. Bye!